welcome back guys welcome to my youtube channel in the last video we have learned about the jet you know about the jet we have we are using jet template engine for the server side rendering with the use of with the use of html tags but in this video we will learn about something advanced about that express so how we can use the express how we can utilize our web pages with the use of express so in this we will in this we will learn about express in this we will learn about in this we in uh, in this video we will in this we will learn about the express handle bars so in this video in this video we will learn about the express handle bars so first of all you have to install handle bars in our npm i express handle bars as you check that uh, handle bars we are using npm install and uh, express handle bar so this is installed and you can check on the package.json we are using version 7.1.2 so here go to the app.js again require first of all the name is hps is equal to require express handlebars so we have used views view engine shade so we will replace this all over the things from here and uh, we will install we will add one engine here app dot engine app dot engine let's call hbs and uh, we'll add hbs and in this we will add uh, ext name let's call hbs so here we will use default layout let's call layout and third last one layout directory layout directory directory plus and we will append that with views and lay out okay after that uh, you can go here in that uh, we will change some changes like uh, jit like called hbs in hps so you can replace from jit to express and uh, now you have to create one folder in views that's called layout and in this we will add index dot not index dot js index dot hbs and uh, if you can replace in a rename here hbs so as you check that in the, in the extension and the icon is also changed here in the in the last you did okay we will remove this and we will use h1 directly sorry that's not hq it's a h1 and we will pass here our title and it should be in double bracket so it can consider as a variable and uh, h2 okay 
and in this as well you can make it as a variable and that's cool you can add as a body parameter here welcome to the page to welcome to our you can save it and in app.js you have passed title welcome to the express and then body you can add here cool page welcome to our fire code tutorials please like share and comment you save this after that it will work from here title and body view we have added as a body okay now run this it's throwing error hbs is not a so we have we have created the one file so in the app.js we give the views or layouts wrong. we are getting the error that's hbs is not a function so we have to use hbs dot engine because of that the version it's upgraded 7.1.2 but if you are using 5 point or lesser than this so you have to use hbs directly otherwise you have to use hbs dot engine so in that case views dot layouts you have to create layout dot hbs and in that case you have to just pass this thing and if you will check here we will passing title from here that's a cool page and we are getting this as a parameter with the use of double brackets not as a single bracket so that it act as like a variable not as a simple thing so let's restart the application and now see cool page now if you want to change anything here welcome to our cool page and you don't have to just restart this app and check welcome to our cool page so the motive of this to use this engine to uh, to check we can use our express framework as a template engine thanks for the so for this lecture this is for the done uh, for this lecture we are using express handler bars we will meet you in the next lecture.